Okay, good evening guys, this is Mud Knight, and can't believe, still can't believe I reached Icon 2000, but right now, I'm on Ace Combat 7 right now for DLC mission number 2 called Insurance Raid. I can't pronounce that. Okay, this is DLC mission number 2 that I just purchased just there now. Just begin with, I'm going to do the hard difficulty just to make sure. <clears throat> Other guys into the spoilers. Or not spoilers, cutscenes. <clears throat> David, I've built a model of Captain Torres and Three Strikes. Based on your hypothesis and mission parameters from the past, I ran a precision combat simulation. But it failed. Bummer. Why didn't it work? Reasons in sensuous order are... 1. Your hypothesis is trash. 2. The parameters you gave me are um, trash. Did I do something to tick you off? 3. Captain Torres is a singularity. So the values diverge. But what about this one? Four. Three strikes is a singularity. That's outside the confidence interval. The possibility that it's one, two, or three is 99%. What? Significance is high. Hmm. Try this. This is three strikes data before he's assigned to the LRSSG. Yeah, we got a single player mission O2 and sure head red. The Erusian military is gathering its remaining naval forces at Anchorhead Bay. I'm an Anchorhead Raid. Ships from the Mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the it's show. Anchorhead Raid. We've received intel that Raid, the Alec will also call it. be joining them. From which source? Sorry, guys, I'm trying to pronounce out there. <laughs> so this is a single play DLC mission OT. Anchorhead Raid. From now on, speak only when authorized. I don't hear a response. May I be authorized to speak first, sir? <laughs> when you're done, I'll be talking to your superiors. Here's your mission. LRSSG is to raid Anchorhead. Carry out airstrikes on Anchor Bay to the north and Dockyuk Bay to the south, inflicting all possible damage. If we can strip the port of its naval functions, we can also prevent the submarine from joining forces. The area around Anchorhead is Erosion territory. To delay hostile detection, you will sortie in small numbers and make your way in at super low altitudes. Small sortie. Who's going? Count, Lanza, Hoosian, and Trigger. Four aircraft from Strider Squadron will be deployed. Well, all right, I got this. To cover our lack of numbers, we're giving you plenty of opportunities to resupply. Look here. We've set up multiple return lines. Make full use of them to resupply. Yeah, we've reduced resupply. Nice. Also note that the enemy will not be able to mount the defense <coughs> immediately after detecting. Use this window to destroy high threat targets. That should make things much easier for you. It should also raise the survival rate. Survival rate, huh? The element of surprise and resupplying are the key. Beyond that, I just need a couple of pilots who will stick to my orders. We don't need an ace to succeed. Got anything to say? Good. Brigadier General. That is all. David, go on. Let me share the career of Mateus Torres, captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people hailed him? A bit unfair to provide us with next to no hints, don't you think? <laughs> Fair enough. The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. He was a captain of the battleship Tamajir at the time of the Continental War. At 
led Aegir fleet, the Invincible Armada. But when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberth Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he's the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control and precise evacuation orders. Then, there's the accident with the Alicorn. Many believe that if they stay with him, they'll live. Transfer from surface to underwater is unusual. However, considering his skill and reputation, along with the fact that the Alicorn is no ordinary submarine, it all makes sense. It'll be a difficult mission to carry out with four aircraft. Still, I'd like to add one more to the mission conditions. Like, you want to make it even harder? I want 100% survival rate for the sword. Any other number and the mission will be considered a failure. All right, we're getting straight into this, guys. Can't wait. <clears throat> for this one, this time I'll be using the SG-35S. Which I'm going to be using two weapons for this one. The LA LASM and LAAM. So I'll start with LASM. This is going to be interesting, guys. So make sure my part is equipped. Because I had to practice earlier on in Mission 15, original one. Now the rank S. So let's get and fingers crossed, guys, we can do it. <coughs> Here we go, can't wait. Anchorhead Raid. <clears throat> Here we go. I can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. Look up. I'll eat their hearts out. Sorry, Trigger. The juicy targets are all lined. Emergency! Four bogeys! ETA, two minutes! They're already here. Nice, Trigger. There's no way to get Gobble up all the high-value targets. Forget about your manners. Alright, where's my artisanal burgers? I had to stay behind last time. This is gonna be a walk in the park. It's a good warm up to get back in the game. Peter and General Clemens, about three strikes. You sure we'll get a positive result this time? Yes, Lieutenant General Shepard. Operation Dominoes is going as planned. We're going to report to the capital. Okay. Comes the aircraft. Oh dear, I had to dry. Well, let's get into another crime weapon, or crime targets. Yeah, we're all going home 
Jesus, some critical damage, oh my god. Oh my god, they're protecting it. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Try again. Failure. Try again. <clears throat> Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. We'll go. I'll eat their hearts out. Sorry, Trigger. The juicy targets are all mine. Emergency! Four bogey! ETA two minutes! Four. Four right here. Nice, Trigger. Hi rocks, watch the stream again. It's not GTA 5. It's Ace Combat 7. I'm getting lock on first a lot of times for some reason. Yeah, drones. It's not even working for me. Don't 
attack run. A bird did us. Go high. Okay, finally. Got that destroy over done with. Okay, finally. I managed to pass that. Yeah, I know. I don't think GTA 6 will do that. Again, I won't see if I'm paying attention. <sighs> Start of ten down. I can almost touch That's the water. second time I've died there. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. Loco, I'll eat their hearts out. Sorry, Trigger. Choosing targets are all mine. Well, that's good. Nice, Trigger. There's no enemy movement yet. Gobble up all the high value targets. Forget about your banners. Alright, where's my artisanal burgers? Had to stay behind last time. This is gonna be a walk in the park. It's a good warm up to get back in the game. Did I miss? Okay. Right, I'm going to leave this aircraft to last. So I need to focus on the ground targets. Yes, 
Am I taking my time? Again there. Arc ahead. Shit. Okay, going for race supply. I know, but just haven't been on GTA today at all. But just GTA started out boring, you see. That's the problem, rocks. Just kill already. Just die. Right, I might have to resupply again because I might have picked the wrong weapon. Time to take our air support night. Not air cross right.
This explosion. I don't know if I go on another resupply because I need a great weapon to take out your great support.
Our green web is destroyed. Yep. Resupply. Oh there. Those are signing nowhere. Okay, time for a boss. Here we go. No, no.
Ah, oh, fucking heaven, Ian. He's dying. Yes. You're dying. Ha 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 ha. Nope. That's a hit. We got the bat. Take that, asshole. Oh, I can see that. Unidentified aircraft. Eject. Eject now. I don't see that, I don't see that, I don't see that. There she goes. She's dead. Move from our dead now. The batch blip has disappeared from our radar. At that altitude it likely has crashed. Serves them right. Yes. The problem has been eliminated. Well, that's it. I can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction. Well, that was successful on the third try. Submarine from joining forces. The unidentified aircraft were shot down too. The mission was a complete success. Complete success, my ass! Brigadier General, it sure seemed to me like the bats knew you pretty damn well. You seem to be confused. Report in for a medical check. We'll decide if you're still fit for service based on the examinations. Cut it! That's enough! Get the MP! He's right. Get the MP. Vice Chairman Edwards of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The Alicorn slipped into Anchorhead Bay after the mission was completed, using the confusion for cover. It resupplied quickly and escaped unharmed. Their goal was not to join forces. It was to resupply using the window we created by chasing away the erosion forces. We did their bidding, albeit unknowingly. But the problem runs deeper than our lack of tactical acumen. Analyst North, explain for us. Of the crew caught in a submarine accident, 330 men made it back alive. Of them, 300 are still in the sub today. Our intel has led us to believe that some or all of the 30 men who left the sub are now working as agents for the Alicorn. Sabotage, espionage, cyber propaganda, dissemination of false intel. Brigadier General, do you recognize the name Edgar Saxon, or Zool, as he used to go by? He is a former member of the Alicorn's crew, and your source of intel. You are a fool, Brigadier General Clemens. Not only that, the radio communications during the mission suggest you are a traitor. Sir, if you check with Lieutenant General Shepard, you'll understand that this is all just a misunderstanding. The Lieutenant General claims you were responsible for handling all aspects of the mission. 
Now, let me say that again. Get the MP. No need for that. Piece of shit. Well, that's it. And I got A rank because I died twice. And to another cross scene. Shells from long range anti air fire came in on depressed trajectories. Look, the estimated energy output of the railgun is 500 megajoules at least. Fired at minimum energy trajectory, range is over 3,000. They hit a powerful rail cannon aside from their main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. A mobile Stonehenge. And also, this. The Alicorn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have loaded SLBMs. They loaded something smaller. Smaller? What is smaller and yet a powerful weapon? Huh. Tactical nukes. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, you got that question right. Nah. I missed the shell part. Quiet. They'll likely attack our bases on the East Coast. Their target's O-Red, the OCN capital. They want a nuclear war? Here's a question. What's a situation where nuclear deterrence doesn't work? Quiz guy, I've had enough of this. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. Damn, Skald. Hey, I'm good at trivia games. So we're after an erosion submarine, not terrorists. No, he's right. HQ tells me Arusha's justification is that the Alicorn mutiny. As such, the Arusha military cannot be held responsible for the submarine's actions. Damn. So they intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Ulred. Here's a question for you, analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? Correct term is terrorist, or irregular military, but I have a different name for them. Enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct. Well, see, Sombre. It's gonna happen in DLC number three. It's most likely it's, we're going to destroy it on the next DLC. So we are. It's most likely you have to wait and see about that. So, yep, I have end the stream right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this new DLC. Hit the like, subscribe, and hit the notification button if you're notified. I upload videos on streams like this. I see you all next time, guys. Take care.